Hey everyone, we're at Fort Edsa Green Hills and we will be showing you the Ford Transit. If you need a van for your big family and your relatives, this might be the perfect one for you. The best way to describe this van is with capital B-I-G dahil meron siyang malaking side mirrors, meron siyang malaking headlights, meron siyang malaking grill sa harap, and meron siyang mataas na hood plus malaking windshield. Ako lang yung maliit. And by the way, dun dalawang nakikita nyong vents, they are real. Here at the back, meron siyang malaking vertical na bulb type tail lights, big third brake lights sa taas, and most importantly, meron siyang reverse camera and apat na sensor sa likod since malaking sasakyan nga ito. So let's check first what's here at the back. So bubuksan natin siya and then this door can be opened at 90 degrees but if you want to make it wider, pwede mo siyang going 180 degrees by just pulling this. And then at the same time, dito sa gilid, meron siyang lever na you need to pull and then it can also be opened until 180 degrees. And then as you can see, ito lang yung space na available dito sa loob but if you want more space, pwede natin i-remove ang dalawang seats in the middle by just pulling these two and then if you want more space you can remove the seats at the edges under the hood of the transit is a 2.2 liter duratorque tdci turbo diesel engine it produces a max output of 133 horsepower and 385 newton meters of torque it is paired to a six-speed manual transmission power is sent to the rear wheels hindi na pag-iiwanan ng transit sa safety Safety features in the transit include dual front airbags, three-point seatbelts for all passengers, anti-lock braking system and electronic stability program, heel launch assist, tire pressure sensors, an emergency roof exit with emergency hammer, and isofix child seat anchor points on the second row. It is in no doubt that the transit is a large vehicle. It is 5,981 millimeters long, 2,474 millimeters wide including the side mirrors, and very important to note, 2,517 millimeters tall. So here inside, we can see na hindi siya mukhang van. Mukha siyang car dahil sa design niya. Plus, meron siyang 7 na cup holders. Merong dalawa dito sa side ko, merong tatlo dyan sa driver seat, and merong dalawa dito sa gitna. Plus, marami siyang storage space, especially dito sa taas. At saka dito sa dashboard. To start the transit, tapakan lang ang clutch. Ilagay ang shifter sa neutral at i-turn ang key. One good thing to note is that the transit's engine will automatically shut off if the rear door is open as long as hindi naka-neutral ang gear. Standard din ang reverse camera. This is very much needed because this is a large vehicle. The transit gets manual climate controls controlled by these knobs here in front. The transit is of course a no-frills vehicle. Meron siyang standard na 6-speaker sound system na may radio, Bluetooth, and USB functionalities. Very straightforward naman ang controls and very easy to use. There is a USB port conveniently located in the center as well. On the right side is a phone keypad for dialing with your phone through Bluetooth. Here in the driver's instrument cluster, meron trip computer display. We can see here different important info about the vehicle na needed while driving such as fuel economy and range, mileage, and vehicle messages, just to name a few. Mahikita din dito yung iba't ibang settings for different functions of the vehicle. Getting in the rear seats of the transit is not at all difficult thanks to a wide door opening and a power retractable sidestep. So here at the back, mahikita nyo na very spacious and I have lots of legroom here. And when I transfer to the second row, Ganun din. Malawak din siya and consistent din siya until the end. Plus, pag tumayo ako dito, makikita nyo na I still have space and I'm 5 feet and 6 inches. And most importantly, ang favorite ko dito sa loob is this seat. Dahil I can extend my feet and just relax. Here in the back, the transit can accommodate up to 12 passengers. Meron ditong 6 cup holders and isang power outlet. By the way, if you're interested in customizing your transit, Ford Edsa can install recliner seats, beds, and even portalettes. Just let them know.
Before we talk about the Transit's on-road performance, listen closely. If you are interested in purchasing a Ford Transit, you will get additional promos or discounts from Ford at the Green Hills by just telling them Auto PH. So now, let's go ahead and talk about the Transit's on-road performance. Well, unfortunately, hindi namin na-drive ourselves ang Transit, pero na-experience naman namin ang pagiging passengers dito. This is actually what most buyers will experience. First, upon getting out of the dealership, the ride felt very well compliant. Hindi siya masyadong matagtag even on EDSA. Of course, on smoother roads, the ride is very smooth. Even as passengers, you can also feel the torque from the 2.2-liter diesel powertrain. This means that it should perform very well even with a full load of passengers. Despite the Transit's huge dimensions, it seems to fit well in the narrow lanes and corners where we brought it. Mukhang di naman magiging problema ang maneuverability nito lalo na kinaya niya ang mga tight areas. The only downside we really see when on the road is that hindi siya kasha in most covered parking areas dahil sa height niya. But most buyers will probably have someone else driving for them. As for the driver, visibility is noticeably excellent as there are large windows in front and very large windshield. Sobrang nakakatulong din ang wide angle mirrors niya dahil mas madaming pwedeng makita around the vehicle. When it comes to parallel parking, di rin naman mahihirapan ang nagda-drive ng transit as long as makakahanap ng slot na may proper length. The reverse camera and front and rear parking sensors will definitely be a big help and it's great that they are standard, especially in the Philippines where most parking spots are small. As you can see in the video, it does not look hard to park the transit, it even fits perfectly European style. Ford Transit undercuts its rivals in terms of pricing. It has an MSRP of 2,300,000 Philippine pesos. So that's all for the Ford Transit. If you're interested, you can contact Ford at the Green Hills through the details down below and tell them that you saw this video.